February lean hogs were limit up today, and that comes after setting a new contract low on Tuesday, the start of the holiday shortened trade week, and then another new contract low on Wednesday. So a lot of pressure to start the week in hogs, but what a difference a day makes uh, with a lot of strength here coming in on Thursday. Again, closing limit up. Now, um, for the most part, pork products have been fairly sluggish. There were some higher um, higher cutouts traded today, uh, but some of the products still remain lagging behind. Ribs were slightly higher, but hams were down quite a bit. And by the way, that's not terribly unseasonable. Um, it's sort of expected this time of year as we get past the holidays, which is sort of the peak ham demand season, uh, we tend to get a little hammed out. So we take a little bit of a break. So ham prices under pressure shouldn't be too concerning. In fact, you got to say that Packers margins are really pretty good right now, um, close to $18 uh, per, per animal. Uh, so that could actually bring in some pretty sizable or pretty decent demand, uh, or at least keep demand steady going forward, or forward as Packers have good margins. They're going to want to keep those good margins so they will not oversupply the market, but they will be wanting and needing those animals in order to take advantage of the good Packers margins that are offered right now. Now, uh, we do have to pay attention to what happens tomorrow. Uh, hogs have this um, sort of history of having reversals and then reversing the opposite way or, or whether we'll follow through the upside or not, I think will be a very big question here for Friday. And we will be dealing with expanded limits happening on Friday as well. They will be 550 as opposed to the normal 375 um, to accommodate for a larger move. Now, again, that can happen in either direction. So it should be very interesting to see what happens here tomorrow. Everybody stay tuned. Happy New Year and have a wonderful day.